good evening. Uh, I believe this is our first IOS meetup at the new Carousel office. So it's quite a, a good feeling to be to have it here today. And uh, so, I guess most of you have heard, you guys must have gotten the email that uh, saying that Soup was, uh, could not make it tonight. So I came in as a replacement for him. So uh, bear with me if you know the talk is a bit shorter than it's supposed to be. Yeah, I hope you guys will understand. I only had two days to present this. Yeah, I actually want to scare. Also, I'm quite curious as uh, how many of you are going to WWDC next month? Can I see a show here? Oh, you going? Going? Who else? Going? Oh, okay. That's not a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. So, Soup, uh, Kale, and Melvin, they are also going. So, if you guys are going, you guys can meet up with them over there. Yeah. Uh, Soup knows a lot of people over there, so he can bring you guys around. Yeah. So, okay. Without further ado, let's start with the presentation. Okay. So let's start off with a short demo how the app looks like. Okay. So this is the iPad app. So we are just do like a copy animation here of a cat knight that goes from right to left. Yeah. That's cute, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's just a simple app to show you how uh, you can do custom transition. So as you guys know, for those iOS developers, if you guys use the default one, it will slide from bottom to top. Okay? And then uh, you have the pay in, and you also have the uh, page flip. And the last one, I'm not sure what it is, but. Uh, so, the question is can we do custom transition? Yes, we can. And it's actually quite easy to do. Okay? So, I'm, today I'm only going to cover the model transition. Uh, I did. I think the description it did mention something about navigation transition, but I think it's too much to have both of them together in one talk. So I'm going to split the navigation transition into another talk, which will be held on a later date. Okay. So uh, yes, let's see. Choose a color. So if I press this, instead of sliding from bottom to top, and when I close it, can we also animate the closing transition? Yes, we can also. Yeah. So you see that. So this is just a simple one, a uh, simple animation that when I press here, the view starts to expand from here, and when it dismisses, it goes back. Okay. Uh, what other? If you guys have any other ideas, you guys can play around with it. You guys can even have like those spiraling effect. Yeah, you guys are very good in the uh, uh, core animation, uh, no, no, CG, core graphic, you know, uh, transform, CG, Appin transform library. You guys can do something like that, the spiraling, and uh, what other things? Yeah, I can even like, from outside, fuse in. Yeah. So I actually did that for one of my previous talk called the UI Brazier animation, which actually slides from the top and water and go steam. And it adds up with a nice uh, indication of something going around, going all the way to the top and then and Yeah. So, a little bit about myself, I was actually previously I started off as a game developer. So that's why I have all these funny, funny ideas. And uh, when I came into Singapore Power, yeah, they interviewed me and they know that my strength is in all these small, small animation that makes the app from being a boring app into something uh, of nice to look at and all that. Yeah. So some of my users, they sometimes find the app boring, but they just like the animation, so they just keep telling me, oh, this is nice. Yeah. Or, you know, like something like that, TV9 going up, they just like, oh, okay, this is nice. Yeah. And, but they, and then sometimes they try to press it. Yeah. But one of the apps I did try, like, okay, you can see the thing, and then when you press, it will come out with sound. Like meow, 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 meow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I'm very big on animation, actually. Okay, so that's uh, all for my short demo. So let's look at how we're going to do this. Okay. So this is the checklist. 
it only consists of three steps and that's all. It's very easy. Okay, so first the view controllers that you want to have that custom transition, you need to conform it to the UI view controller transitioning delegate. Number one, step two, create an animator class which conform to your, the UI view controller animator transitioning. You can actually call this class anything, but uh, I read from Ray Wenderlich, they call it animator class and I will stick with the uh, name for it, animator class. Okay, and then step three, you need to return the anim uh, animator class back to the view controller delegate. Yeah, so I didn't bring my laser pointer, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Ah, other than that, I'm uh, also going to share a bit on the animations that uh, method that I use. So one is the normal UI view animate with duration. This one, uh, I think most of you guys have seen this. Then this is second one is the animating of keyframes. So that's how I did the GB night moving from right to left, and then uh, going back. And then the last one is CA basic animation. You need this if you are animating CA layer. Yeah, if you don't have this, you try to use UI view, um, UI view class, you will not be able to get the exact animation for CA layer. So for core, core for CA object, you need a CA animation. Just remember it. Yeah. So, last one. Okay, so just now I mentioned the UI view. Controller animated transitioning, this one. Okay, there's a few, there's actually just three concepts that you guys need to know. The container view, UI transitioning view key, dot two and dot four. So the container view, what happens is that when you call the present or dismiss, and it gets the delegate from the animator, I mean, yeah, the delegate calls the animator class, what will happen is that when you have the view controller, it will add a container view. Then from this container view, it will uh, you will need to tell them which one is the view controller that you are going to and the view controller that you are coming from. Yeah. So from that, uh, so what will happen is that they will take snapshot of these two view controller and then do the animation in this container view. So once the animation is uh, finished, the controller view uh, disappear and show and will present the view controller that you are going to or coming back from. Yeah. Uh, do you guys want me to draw it or something? Because I have a paper app that I can use to draw it. No? Okay, <laughs> yeah. So let's go into the code. So uh, for this app, this is my main view controller and this is my color view controller. Okay, so looking back at the codes. Yeah, let's too smooth. Oops, Oh, okay. Uh, too rush. Okay, this one's good. Okay. So, in my main view controller, I extend out the UI view controller transitioning delicate protocol here. And the only two most important functions that you need to call is the animation controller for presented and animation controller for dismissed. So, as the name implies, you can roughly guess what it is. So, this is when you want to present, and this is when you want to dismiss. For today's uh, presentation, I just written the same animator class. So basically, I got lazy and I put everything to one animator class. Uh. But actually, in uh, your production environment, you should try to speed it up, and, you know, so that when another programmer comes in, they be able to easily distinguish that this is for presenting and this is for dismissing. Okay. So that's step one. So after conforming to that delegate. Okay, I need to set set the delegate to the uh, I mean this view controller to that delegate and also in the color view controller uh, I got lazy again so in color for color view controller what happens is that whenever I press the color I get the color view controller and then I set the delegate here 
sorry. Yeah. So if you look at my color view controller, it is actually Ooh, I missed one very important step. wondering why it still works is because if you do not have this protocol uh, it, it just doesn't conform but you can still use that function yeah it just doesn't force you to like oh you need this or you know but yeah so for example if in this case if I were if I do not have that uh, if I do not declare the delegate it should return me an error because it's a compulsory Okay, Xcode doesn't seem to be working with me today. But yeah, so uh, remember to always conform. Yeah. So for my color view controller, I also conform to the UI view controller transitioning delegate. So, and uh, I set the delegate in the main view controller whenever I press the button. Okay, I, I won't recommend uh, this way of doing it because uh, it's really messy. Yeah, just for the sake of today's discussion, I make uh, things simple and put it here. Uh, okay, so after I conform to this UI view controller transitioning delegate, what I will do is that I will create the animator class which conforms to the UI view controller animated transitioning. All of them sounds alike, so <laughs> make sure be careful with the when you are typing the protocol in okay so for this uh, animator object uh, for this protocol the two important protocol functions that you need is the duration and the animate so again because you know swift is swift and objective c uh, iOS development they always like to name the functions fully that's why you can easily understand that okay this is for the duration this is for the anim animation so this one is just uh, asking you how long you want. This one is uh, actually doing the animation for you. Okay. So one thing to take note is that the duration must be the same here. So if you are using one second here, you need to use one second here as well. So it's safer to pull out the duration and declare it somewhere up there as one. Yeah. Okay. So for the presenting, uh, this is my switch. So if I were to prevent, I will make this two. If I'm going to dismiss, I'm going to make this four. Okay. So, so for duration, I think it's quite simple. Lah. There's only one line written duration. Anybody don't understand? No? Okay. Uh, so animate transitioning is where the magic happens. Okay. So this three line is the most uh, important lines uh, in this method. Okay, you need to get the container view, you need to get the two view, and then you need to get the from view. Okay, so let's take it. I'm presenting the uh, view controller. What's going to happen is that the color view here, or you can call it any view you want. If it's presenting, it's going to be the two view. So what does this mean? It means that when I'm presenting, the view that I want to animate is the two view, and not the from view. Yes, the two view. Okay. So what happened in this uh, code is that if it's presenting, I'm going to take a snapshot of the two view, and then uh, put the frame as the same with the button that I selected, and then I animate it to zoom. Oh. It's as simple as that. And then if I'm going to dismiss it, I'm going to call the from view, but then... Oh wait, so I'm still uh, animating the two view, but I'm going to pull, pull all the way down to that button and then present the from view. That's why uh, this, this is what is happening here. So this 
So these are just some of the maps that go in. You need to get the initial frame, the final frame. Get the scale plans to form. And this is where the animation happens. Yeah. As simple as that. Yeah. So in case if you do not have like a very uh, complicated animation, this is all you need. If you want to like simple paint in, paint out, you just need to put your alpha one or alpha zero here. That's all. Okay. This, that is how simple it is to do custom animation uh, with uh, this uh, protocol. Okay. So uh, so yeah, that's about it for my tr custom transition. So now I'm going to share with you the animation that I did. So for this one, this one is quite straightforward. This one I think most of us have used this before. The animate. This one is the most common animation method that we use. But how are you going to do the GB night from right to left and then going back? For that one, I use animate with keyframe. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. So this is the method that I use. Hey, go lay down. Yes. So these are the options I use. Uh, in Objective C, it used to be like a slash, like uh, currency slash repeat slash auto reverse. But for Swift, you need. Oh, did I mention to you that this is my first presentation in Swift? <laughs> <laughs> I finally turned over to Swift. Okay. So ah, this is the method that makes the animation come from slow all the way to fast and then to slow. So I think I believe this one just came up. This option. And I and I kind of like that uh, this option. It used to only be like linear or is in or is out is in is out, but now they have this space. Yeah. So for this one, I just go all the way. I, uh, okay, I set maximum now to thirty. So what's happening is that you go up down up down up down fifteen times, then you go back fifteen times. Yeah. So that, that one here, take note is. Doesn't mean uh, 230 here, we go all the way 30. It's actually 15, then we go back because I put the auto reverse there. Yeah. And uh, to put it on repeat, I just need to put the option repeat. That's all. Okay. But then one thing you need to take note is that you need to remove the animation whenever the thing disappears. Okay. If not, once when you are presenting the other view controller, what happens is that this the view controller below it is still running the animation. And uh, if you, yeah, as a programmer, try to remove all this, you know, <laughs> yeah, because these are all taking memory spaces and all that, yeah, you don't want that. Yeah. Uh, this thing is like really important when you're working with the earlier version of iPhones, when they have very low memory. If you leave this thing there without removing it, it will definitely crash after a few uh, present, present things. Yeah. So, yeah. So just remember to remove all animations when the view disappears. And then I, what I did was that I just reset everything back to its original uh, location. And then whenever it appears, start animating again and then repeat. Okay, so uh, that's the second one. And then uh, the third one is going to be, this is the interesting one. Okay, the C basic animation. Okay. Yeah. So basically, this C part if is on a layer. You can just call the variable in the string format. That's all. So they have corner radius. They have uh, border width, border border color. Yeah. All these can be animated actually using C A basic animation. So you just need to call the corresponding C part and then uh, set a from value, a to value, duration, and just add the animation. As simple as that. So for this one, yeah. So I add that corner radius animation. This one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this one is just to make it. You actually don't need this, but if you want to make it more polished. So what is happening is that there's two. Yeah. So if you don't have this, it, uh, 
things to share. So I have the checklist done, three steps, animations, okay, all three animations I shared and the UI blue control transition. Okay, so that's about it for my presentation. It's very short and sweet and uh, if you think custom transition is difficult, it's actually not, it's really very simple to do. Yeah, so any questions? I'm not going to WWDC by the way, so look for me after this. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Yeah. <laughs> we went to Australia. Yeah. <laughs> so, any questions? Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I'm not sure if you guys like to find out more about Python. Uh, you can go to the Ray Wendelik book, uh, the animation title. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, and chapter 5. Yeah. So, then uh, they, they also have the navigation plan, uh, animation inside there and they also uh, talk about interactive custom transitioning. So basically navigation controller you actually have the interactive whereby you, if you put the finger on the left you can actually swap back to the previous view control no not ah correct the previous view controller in a navigation controller from left to right. Yeah. So yeah, sure. Okay. So you can have to